Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Very good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. What about you, ma'am? I'm also pretty good. Thanks for asking, Faizan. Okay. I'm so, Faizan. I belong to Bihar. Good. Okay. What do you do? I work as a salesman. Nice. Okay. So, Faizan, uh, what time do you go to work? I work at night. Night <clears throat> shift. Okay. So, yeah. that's why you're attending the class in the morning. In the morning. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, Faiza, today uh, we have a topic here in today's session. You have reached the 29th session mm -hmm. and the topic is you have to imagine yourself as a reporter and report some news like how you watch on TV, right? Mm -hmm. It could be weather report, sports news or any general news or anything that happened in your area. You can tell me about any such news, imagining okay. yourself as a reporter. So it's like a role play activity. So do you want okay. to do this? Yeah, sure. I would like to try. Okay. So yeah. you tell me, uh, report any news to me. I think, yeah, breaking news. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. So I start? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can start. Oh, of course. Okay. Like, hi, good morning, everyone. I am Faizan. Welcome to PMP News. There is a breaking news coming from Delhi that a 12th class girl was riding a scooter. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a mini truck came and bumped into that scooter. For further details, I am going to connect with our correspondent, Movin. Hi, Movin. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, Movin, can you? Yeah, okay, Movin, could you uh, please elaborate something on that? What's the matter, uh, basically? Okay, yeah. So, as you can see, this is the location where I am standing right now. Behind me, this is the road where the accident took place. So, uh, it's happened like the girl, she is studying in 12th class. She was riding bike and she was going to a school. And uh, behind, uh, behind there was a mini truck which was coming from behind. So the truck bumped into that escort team due to which she got injured. She got badly injured. And so uh, within a uh, no time, there was a battle, uh, battle man. Battle shop came over there and some passers also. So they saw like the girl was full in a blood. And out of uh, nowhere, they rushed that girl to hospital. After two and a half hour, uh, after yeah, two, two and a half hour of the treatment, the battle man got to know that she is no more. So okay, yeah. So right now there is a battle man. I'm going to connect with battle man for further details. So yeah. So what's your name? Okay, my name is uh, Krishna. Okay, so sir, uh, what's the matter and uh, what happened exactly? Can you tell us? Yeah, definitely. I was uh, sitting in my shop and I was making beetle. So suddenly I saw that a mini truck came and uh, bumped, uh, ramped into that scooter, due to which she got badly injured. And as I saw, I reached over there and uh, I took that girl to hospital. And after two and a half hours, I got to know that she is no more. That's also. Thank you so much, sir, for getting me this uh, information. And thank you so much. So, uh, Fajan, yeah. So, Fajan, yeah. As you saw that I was talking with the beetle person. That he told about the everything what exactly happened. So, yeah, that's it. So, I am Fajan with cameraman, um, cameraman Krishna. Okay, with cameraman Krishna. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for uh, moving. Okay, so yeah, so as you saw the news, it happened uh, in today in the morning. So please stay tuned with us. We will be uh, back after a short commercial break. Thank you so much. Awesome, brilliant, Fezan. It was so interesting. The way you reported the news, though, it's a sad news, but it was very interesting for the uh, viewers to listen to the news. So okay. nobody will run away with it, telling that, oh, it's a boring news. No, nothing like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you so much. 
Yeah, you interchange, you brought, brought a lot of people into that particular scenario explaining the TV reporter, the beetle nut seller. So yeah. very good idea. Nice plan. Not, not sure. And your confidence is also really good. Pace is also very good. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, no pronunciation error. And uh, two words which I could help you with. It's not major huh. error, but I can help you improve that. And the yep. uh, sentence was brilliant. Um, mm. And uh, only one sentence when you framed it was incorrect. I'll tell you what's that, okay? Okay. okay. So when you said girl was pool in a blood, you interchanged the words. The girl oh, okay. was in a, in a pool of blood. Pool of blood, okay, yeah. Yeah, girl was in a pool of blood. In a pool of blood, yeah. Right. So, yeah. And then we study in ninth grade or something, she, you said, right? Okay, she in 12th. She studied in 12th. Okay. So she is. She studies. Or... She studies in 12th grade or she's a student of 12th grade. Okay. Yeah. Present tense because right now she's a student. She is. She does. Yeah. Right. She ride bike. No. She was riding a bike when the vehicle hit her. Vehicle right? hit her. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So this is a past incident that happened. They that happened happened. In the past. Hmm. So that's it. So that's it. These were the two sentence structure which could be improved. And the singular, mm -hmm. like when you say two and a half hour, it's okay. plural, right? You have to add mm -hmm. S, two and a half an hour. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, the word beetle, say beetle nut and beetle leaf, we have both, okay? And the seller is beetle nut seller. So beetle nut uh, shop didn't arrive arrived uh, to her place but the shopkeeper went to her right so yeah. to, mm -hmm. the shopkeeper went to her to lift mm -hmm. her up or to help mm -hmm. her so yeah so you see the beetle nut uh, seller went to the shopkeeper the beetle nut uh, the shopkeeper of the beetle nut shop he went to mm -hmm. help her out you can say okay. like that mm -hmm. And yeah. um, only once you, you use the word basically but it's okay you don't have to use that even once Okay. What happened basically uh, when you were reporting the news? You said what happened basically is that. So no need to use basically. You can skip that. Okay. Okay. But but you're not using too much of it. Some people keep on saying basically, basically that's too much. But you only right. use once. Okay. Once I think yeah. Now with regards to pronunciation, what can be improved is that. See mm -hmm. this word that I wrote. It it has e behind. Most of them say behind in India, but the correct pronunciation behind. is, it should have a sound behind, behind. Behind, okay, behind. No, hmm. behind, behind. Okay, behind, okay, behind. behind. Okay, not, yeah. it should not be behind, like it should be behind. Behind, okay. yeah. Behind. yeah. So behind. if you check the dictionary, yeah. this is the right pronunciation, but most of them in India say behind, so we know when you say behind, we know what it is, hmm. but this is the right pronunciation. Always when you want behind. to check the pronunciation, when there's mm -hmm. a doubt, just enter that word in the Google dictionary and just click okay. on that speaker button and then listen to it. Then you'll get the right pronunciation. Oh, if yeah, it's a very difficult, you did that. Very good. Yeah. And the other word, like the word girl, this has a silent R. This is the right pronunciation. Girl. Yeah. When you see girl in India, most of them say that. So I think a... yeah. yeah. Girl. It should be like this. Girl. 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 In India, a um, lot of other words like morning, um, mm. morning, early morning, water, okay, mm. water. Perfect. Mm. performance. All these words have silent R. R, yeah. So try to focus on that. It won't happen in one day, but mm. then if you keep practicing slowly, all the words mm. will have the right pronunciation. Yeah, sure. Okay? So, Faisal, is there any doubt or queries that you want to ask me? No, so far I don't have any doubt. Okay, then let's look at the vocabulary. Yeah. So, most of the words are something that we know, okay? Like headlines, journalist, we know who's a journalist. Yeah, yeah, breaking news. You know, what, do you, uh, what, does, what does it mean when we say sensational news? Sensational news, yeah. Like uh, we can also say, like, uh, 
like you are looking sensational like we can also use like this mm -hmm. No, we no? can't use. You look sensational. But no, I saw on Google. Like today, I searched on the Google. So there was some terms like you are looking sensational. Or you look uh, sensational, like that. We can say se sensual, but not sensational. Sensational means uh, exciting or uh, unusual. Unusual. Unusual so or excitement. Yeah. So if a news like there's a murder, like in Delhi, there's a, fav a famous murder, right? One man killed his girlfriend and he cut her body part into a lot of pieces and he Don't kept know. in the fridge. So that's a sensational news. It's very exciting for us to listen to it. And it's very unusual. Not everybody does it. So that's yeah. a sensational news. But the other one, if you want to compliment people on their looks, you can mm -hmm. use this word. Sensual. Sensual means they have some kind of attraction in them. Sensual. Sensual. Yeah. I I was talking about this word. Sensational. 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 Yeah. I think I had gone through in this word in the morning okay. when I booked up the date. Yeah. That's good. That's good. You did some practice. Mm, and. Uh, Wait, I'm just checking. You look sensational. She looks sensational, very attractive in a new dress. Okay. Yeah. So you can use for looks. Okay, you can. Sensational, yeah. they're looking uh, very different from others, not ordinary. So yeah. you can use. Because and today I, in the morning I searched, that's why I hmm. got to know. Very good. That's brilliant. So you did your homework, so you're able to remember that, and it's wonderful. And uh, the other word is okay. This word that I'm going to type in the chat box. Let me see if you know the right pronunciation. Which everyone? No. See, I've typed a word. C O M M E N T. Comment. Comment. Comment is correct. Very good. Okay. Comment is right. Some people say comment. So I was checking if you know it correct or not. You know it correctly. That's okay. good. And uh, now we know about rumors, right? You know what's yeah, a rumor? Yeah, I know. So another word for that is hearsay, but we don't yeah, normally sure. use hearsay. But uh, people may not understand, but so you can say rumor, but if they can understand, then you can use hearsay. Hearsay. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. It's like, it's how can we use hearsay? If we hear about some news, when we hear uh, a news and if somebody asks you, do you think do you, it's true? Then you can say, I think it's just a hearsay. I, I don't mm -hmm. believe it. I think it's just a rumor. I don't believe it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So most of the words are simple and uh, yeah, you spoke on this topic really well. Is there any other topic that you want to speak about? No, no. I think I don't have, uh, but if you have spoke, yeah, give me, I will speak. Yeah, correct. Uh, what I want to know is that, do you have any weakness in yourself? And if yes, how would you like to tackle it? Okay, weakness. Hmm. Um, if I see my weakness, then maybe, yeah, like watching movies. Watching movies is your weakness. So you spend a whole lot of time watching movies, yeah, right? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, then mm -hmm. so, I really yeah. don't. Yeah. I was saying I don't have the patience to watch movies because it's such lengthy movies. I feel okay. that my whole work will remain pending. So I don't watch movies. Since eight years, I haven't watched any movie. Okay. No, I think uh, since childhood I have been watching, so that's why. But these days I am thinking to, you know, like cut off, cut out these mm. uh, activities. Mm. So just I am working on these things. Uh, I think uh, I have not watched for, I have been not watching for uh, 15 days or 20 days like that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. 15, 20 days is a good number. So. Yeah. Yeah, instead of movies, maybe you can watch something else for a shorter duration, right? 
Yeah. Like the YouTube videos or the something. Any comedy video or mm, or enjoyment. Yeah. Mm. My weakness is sweets. I have a lot of sweets and I can't resist them. People okay. tell me that uh, you have to control because um, that as we grow old, it may cause a lot of harm to your body. But still, I don't worry. I keep having it. And uh, it's also, um, people say that uh, it increases our weight, right? Yeah. So mm. now, God, by God's grace, I'm at the right weight. But, but if I can... <laughs> Yeah, you are looking good. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. What did you want to say about sweets? Like, uh, yeah, since I also work in a bakery section, like I sell cake and those kind of cake thing. But sometimes mm -hmm. I eat, sometimes I don't. Most of the time okay. I don't eat. Like I'm used to it. So now this is yeah. like, no, it's okay for me. <laughs> correct. You have sweets yeah. all around you. So you don't all feel around. tempted. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. The more we see that we feel detached from that we don't get attached to it right yeah mm -hmm. like i've seen people um, when they get a lot of home food the mm -hmm. mom is there at home to cook home food they feel like going out and having food at restaurant but the same person right. if that person goes to a hostel and they're living and they're having outside food they miss their mom's food right then they yeah. say i need food yeah yeah i miss a lot because i'm also i'm not in my home like i'm living in abroad in Saudi Arabia. You're from Saudi. Okay, that day I yeah. think you attended the demo class, I think, with me. No, no not I you. No. No, you attended with someone. Okay. Yeah. My dad was also in Saudi, but uh, now he's not working there anymore. Okay. How long have had he been? So how long had, how can we ask? Like, how long did how he long? work? How long yeah, did he work? How long did he work in Saudi? He was there from when I was in ninth grade. So ninth grade means in 1997, I was in ninth grade. And then till I completed my 12th grade. So that means uh, 2002. So till then he was in Saudi. And then now he's settled here. Oh. It's okay for uh, some years, like three years or four years. Like yeah, that is good. You can work mm -hmm. and then go in your country and start your own business. Yeah, he started his own business. You yeah. also have plans for that? Yeah, same plan I have also. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. So where are you from? I'm actually from Bangalore, but now I'm settled in Rajasthan. Rajasthan, okay. That's nice. So um, you, do you have that Saudi Arabian food, kubus and the, some yeah. chicken? Yeah. Okay. 